Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. If you feel that the robust discussions might incite you to violent action or hatred against others, you should avoid our websites, seminar, and contents. I hope it does incite you. Get off your big fucking dead ass. During the seminar lectures, no cell phones allowed. During dinner, no cell phones allowed. If you use a cell phones during these periods, you will be asked to leave with no refund. For the people that are non-English speaking, you understand that? In the 90s, I punched you in the face. I used to hit you with a writing crop. By the way, smiling and laughing is a coping mechanism for being insecure. Smiley. Bold, a tub of shit, and insecure. What a fucking combo. I had people ask me. I remember we had a special forces guy from um, Switzerland. He asked me to break his jaw in 2001. I did. I emailed him about five months later. His job was still wired. He wanted me to leave him something to remember. To this day, he's got a hitch in his mouth. Didn't heal right. And you ask the difference between the 90s and the early 2000s, the kind of people that attended here. We had no webinars. There was no mentor program then. We had virtually no handouts. The website was there, but I mean, it didn't have 98% of the material like it does now. And that the majority of the billionaires were produced from 93 to 2005-ish. I don't ask myself why. I just know that's what happened. And I wish that I'd kept more strict control of data from 1993 to the early 2000s, which I didn't. We had a guy here in the 97, 98, 99, who he said data was the future of the world. And I thought he was a, just a crackhead little piece of shit. He was a crackhead little piece of shit, but he, I didn't listen to him. I caught on about five or six or seven years later. And so now we have a lot of data. And we know why and how. Um, the kids uh, fail, and we also know how, um, not so much why, but because uh, I'm not interested in the why, why it's so hard to pull the trigger today. Now, uh, a couple of you saw me in Omaha. Who was in Omaha? God, how, you, you guys, see, you guys must have more money than I think. You, sh you wasted your money going to Omaha. Two good things came out of Omaha. Um, other than I was privileged to go to the uh, annual meeting of Warren, Warren the Buffett and Charlie the Munger. <clears throat> uh, and I hope they live to be 120. Um, the, uh, at that seminar, we had a 14-year-old kid um, who I had mentored his parents, or not his mother, his father. And he got up and he said that he's been beaten a lot, but he didn't get beat enough. And, and he asked what the uh, challenge was of um, uh, the, uh, uh, no, that was, no, this, was that Princeton? Princeton? Princeton, I'm getting confused. Okay, you all look alike. You know, I don't see uh, dark skin, uh, light skin. Uh, I see bald heads. Bald heads kind of stand out to me. Um, but um, the, uh, back to Omaha, that uh, Dr. John Robinson gave me an introduction, which was, was really good, uh, and I uh, continue to use it, um, and I will continue to use it. But it kind of encapsulates the um, um, the heartbreak of the program in five six minutes. Uh, it uh, it encapsulates um, what most people 
don't understand about the program. And even though the results were arguably, not arguably, they were uh, remarkably better in the early uh, the 90s and the early 2000s, um, it's because the, um, we didn't give all the crutches we give you now. Now, I, I know that some of you were uh, academics, <clears throat> in other words, better students than I was, which isn't saying much since I flunked out of university three times. But when I came back to university the, the fourth time and I graduated with just about straight A's, uh, I didn't, I changed my study habits. My study habits before it was, it was going to be a study, uh, test on Friday. I started studying maybe Thursday night, more probably Friday morning. And I realized unless you're really gifted, and I figured out that I was gifted, but I figured out too late. I should have figured it out when I was maybe 10 or 12. Uh, if I'd been hanging around with gifted people, I, I would have figured out I was smarter than the gifted people. But the, um, what the seminar really gave in the 90s and the early 2000s was a beating, a beatdown, an emotional beatdown. And that's when we had people, uh, more people, pissing their pants, crying, shitting themselves, literally. And, um, and I've been questioned on that many, many, many times. And Brian Cule Rose used to, although he's, it's a love-hate relationship with Brian, he's current, I don't know if he currently loves me or hates me, but the, uh, he never really believed that anybody shit themselves and people threw up and passed out and stuff like that. So he was at the hardcore a couple years ago, sitting, not spacing like this, sitting in the seat that uh, the doctor, uh, who's probably uh, incognito, he doesn't want you to know he's a medical doctor, so he doesn't have to help anybody here, and the guy on the end, much closer. And the guy on the end, about two hours into the seminar in the morning, went into a seizure and fell over on Brian Rose, threw up all over him, had a seizure, swallowed his tongue, and all over Brian's new suit that he got from my tailor, John Kent, in London. Uh, and so now Brian believes that people throw up and go into seizures. But we used to have people shit themselves. And we used to have a slide with one of the big four accounting firms that showed, he wrote me a letter on his stationery. I never knew I was still a man until I shat myself the fourth day of the seminar. Now, the accounting firm, and I won't tell you the accounting but it's one of the big four. The accounting firm that was, that was on the stationery asked me several times, can you give us a break? I mean, fuck. You know, you don't have to use, you know, can't you block out or just say that a big four partner? So then ultimately I uh, acquiesced and I took it off the big four stationery, which I still have. Uh, and, um, but he was the last person I know shit himself. But our toilets, even though you have, we have kind of separate toilets now because of Corona, we know other people have shit themselves. Why else would you leave your underwear in the toilet? Even some of you are bright enough to figure that out. In India, they don't even shit themselves in their underwear, if there weren't underwear. So we know people still shit themselves. So who among you, whom, better English, whom among you? That's the question. Normally, the shat, as they say up here, starts Tuesday late through Thursday early. Some of you will know by noon today you wasted your money. Not because the program doesn't work because you won't work the program. I'm amused when I, well, I don't look at, I haven't looked at Reddit in a couple, three years, but when somebody puts in there some bad shit about us, what they ought to have is asterisk because I didn't follow the steps, asterisk because I didn't work the program, asterisk because I'm a fucking cunt. Now, you're gonna get homework to do every night this week, but more importantly, you're gonna get a format to do homework once you leave here, not for me, not for my benefit, but for your benefit. And there's about 73 questions, things you should do a week, 73, or answer that you did or didn't do. And as you've heard me say many, many times on YouTube, if you don't do it, you don't say you don't do it, you don't put blank, you don't put not applicable, like some of you have done. Uh, some of you didn't fill out all the paperwork. Uh, you didn't want me to, you don't want to embarrass yourself by your salary. You don't want to embarrass yourself by your net worth. You don't want to embarrass yourself by what, uh, uh, what you think of your parents. Um, 
And if you don't do it, just the instructions say, I cunted out. Now, if you have 50, 60, 70, I cunted outs the first week, it's not impossible because nothing's impossible. But it's almost impossible for you to make it in this program. Now, the challenge is only you and you know what you answered. If I gave you the test today at noon, some of you in this room already know what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. Pay price to action. On that fine note, 